Super, thank you. Thanks, Victoria, for organizing these amazing events. So, um, I, I will go very fast. I don't want to get uh, boring to, to you. So, we want to talk about the next step in the supply chain uh, from our perspective. So, we think that supply chain is not just an industrial problem, but we see it as, as a mankind problem, and I want to explain why. Warehousing costs 300 billion per year. To generate warehousing, we spent almost 1.50 trillion in 2017, and this generated 7% of the global CO2 in 2018. So look how uh, an industrial problem of warehousing, of having parts hold in the warehouses for months, for years, generated an, uh, an incredible cost in terms of shipping, and this generated the very problem for the mankind, generating 7% of global CO2 emissions. So an industrial problem became a mankind problem. So um, how we think this can be, can be solved? Of course, uh, robots is not 100% the solution of the problem. And we don't want to do that, but we want to be part of the solution. Thanking to our technology, we think that we can create a digital warehouses thanks to the repeatability of our machines and the guaranteed repeatability and the unmatched 10 microns accuracy, we can ensure our customers to print parts with accuracy and with repeatability. And this is very important to, to ensure production of end use parts. In addition to this, with our composite materials, so carbon fibers, glass fibers, film materials, and high temperature plastics, we can help customers in replacing metals in the extreme applications. We can see two applications here, one from Bosch and one from Leonardo, the biggest defense Italian company. So the one from Leonardo talk about an electric um, car parts connectors, um, previously made by CSC machining in peak material. We realized uh, this connector with IDT manufacturing with the Argo 500 and peak material, and Bosch said not more than 90% in terms of time save it, and more than 65% in terms of cost save it. Leonardo did the same, and uh, for this specific application, we are talking about hand layout composite molding. So the company um, created this um, composite material previously with CNC machining aluminum. So this is a very extreme application because this mold goes into an autoclave at seven bars at more than 180 Celsius degrees for, for hours. So we replaced the CNC machined aluminum part with carbon peak part. Both cases, customers generated an unmatched time save it, an unmatched cost save it, avoiding having this part warehouse it in, the, in their warehouses for, for a long time and uh, um, decreasing the length of the supply chains. So, thanks to the repeatability of the machine systems, beltless technologies, thanks to the performances of materials that we can frame on our platforms, we can ensure our customers to replace metals for extreme applications. So this means a reduction of warehousing costs, a reduction of shipping, and a reduction of global CO2 emissions. We can see a little bit deeper the application of the electrical co connector here. Um, very interesting application. Uh, electrical um, vehicles, of course, uh, are part of the future of the transportation for the automotive sector. In this specific case, we use PIC thanks to the insulin properties, electrical perfect insulin properties of the material, um, and uh, even the facility to work the material then with uh, CNC machining to reach uh, some specific uh, surface finish um, on, 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 on internal part of the connectors to, to ensure um, this kind of application. So thanks to the additive manufacturing technology, we are capable to save material costs, of course. This is not a robust 
uh, advantage, but this is generally speaking an advantage of 3D printing sector. So we can save material, but um, here the advantage of our technology is that saving material, we can maintain the mechanical properties thanks to the heated chamber, thanks to the performances of the materials. So lighter part, but strong. Of course, another important um, advantage we can reach is that we can go from many parts assembled in unique parts to few parts printed together to have a less complex part in terms of numbers of parts printed and then assembled. So this of course generated uh, a reduction of time to create jigs, fixtures, and of course this reduced the cost of the, of the printed part. So the warehouse digitalization is the next step, the next necessary step for the sustainability, economical sustainability of the, the new supply chain, the environment sustainability, because like I explained before, everything is connected. So emissions, shippings, cost of warehousing, everything is connected. So we need to re rethink again um, the supply chain because it doesn't work anymore. And COVID-19 showed us how supply chain is old, is obsolete. We need to think again to the supply chain and 3D printing can play a very important role in this and robust technology, we can, we think we can play a very important role because we can ensure the repeatability of the printing process, which is very important where we talk about production of end use parts. So repeatability thanks to beltless and performances of the materials, metal replacement applications, thanks to the composite carbon fibers materials we manage and thanks to the high temperature materials we manage. How we can do this? We can do in two different ways. We can do with our 3D printers installed in companies, warehouses in companies, and we can do this through our 3D parts network. So Robos launched a worldwide network of 3D parts production centers that are capable to produce your part just in time and on demand. So you can access this new platform through our website, you can order your part and we will ask to our production centers in the world closer to you to produce just in time on demand for you. So we can solve, we can be part of the, the solution of the supply chain problem through our 3D printers in your companies or through our services, service bureau in the world producing parts for you. Robust technology is capable to print very advanced material. So we are specialized, as you probably know, in composite material and high temperature superplastics. In this, we are very specialized in PIC, carbon PIC, and Axtem, which is our new worldwide exclusive. Thanks to the agreement with Sabic, we can provide uh, the performances of these amazing high temperature materials for aerospace and oil and gas applications. So you can get this part printed in the most performing materials in the entire industry right now, having our machines in the companies or asking robots to produce parts for you. For all the questions you can send to us an email to the email addresses you can see here and we will be very glad to answer to your question and show the potential of our technology. Thank you.